Chris and Andy. We love theme parks, food, and travel. We live in Orlando, Florida, the theme park capital of the world. We've been visiting Orlando theme parks for years, and we know them well. We both work full time, so when we get out there, we don't have all day to visit. We're not the ones on vacation. It's just a day in the park for us. So when we go, we just get down to the nitty gritty of the bottom line, the meat and potatoes of the trip. So join us as we discover the meat and potatoes at Orlando theme parks and beyond. Hey everybody. Good morning, happy new year. It is January something. Everyone's, it's the third day of the Festival of the Arts. We waited, we were gonna come the first day, but it's the, uh, that was the Figment Popcorn Day. And people kept getting marked safe online. So <laughs> that, it's just so. craziness. So we're here, yeah. it's a beautiful day. Got our sweaters on, it's yep. 50 degrees in Florida. Love it. So we're out to walk around. We're here to see some of the artists. One of our good friends uh, is part of the Acme booth over in Canada, Adam Schickling. So he's here, uh, I think today's his last day, but he does a lot of art. Can't wait to see um, Adam, that's for, cool. Uh, Marvel and for Star Wars, Mandalorian, Baby Yoda. So yep. you can see him, walk around. We're also going to have uh, lunch today back yep. in France. We're the Creperie de Paris, which is something that we have not done before. So we're really looking forward to giving that a try. And then we're also going to check out Living Seas because we're really into the National Geographic show on Disney Plus. Yep. Uh, where they explore Disney World and Animal Kingdom. And this season two, they're at Living Seas. So we're going to check out Little Joe mm -hmm. and the eel and the turtle. and. Uh, so we're gonna check out some food and some art. So okay. come right. along and enjoy. Join us.
Mm, there's frogfish. He's on here too. Yes. He's in, he's in the coral. Let me see. So he lays there and he opens his mouth. And he has a little thing on. Oh yeah, there he is. But he wasn't changing color because he was so weird. Oh, we're at Pop Eats. We're not gonna have anything right now, but just want to give you an idea of the menu. Tomato soup with grilled cheese, but then the tomato soup with pimento, bacon, and fried green tomato grilled cheese sounds pretty good. So you can see the line on Sunday at Holiday. Come back in three days and I'll be here. Yep, sounds good. for lunch we were gonna do the ratatouille but it's 105 minutes that's been long yeah it's too nice to wait in line for that so yeah we'll come back when it's not a holiday weekend but uh for lunch it was actually a pretty good lunch yeah nice we didn't get the soup because it was a tomato soup or a cold soup um yeah it was but the crepes were good i had the salmon yep. uh, ethan had the chicken and you two had the other one it's right here on the menu if you want to pick it up. sure so ethan had the the poulet uh, which is chicken, bechamel, cheese sauce, and mushrooms. I had the salmon, which was like a salmon on a bagel, but on a crepe. Yeah. And then uh, you two had the sable yard, which is raclette, caramelized onions, bacon, and ham. And it was on the buckwheat uh, crepe. Yep. Which was different. Very it's different. Yep. I like it. It was, it was good service. Yeah. It was pretty quick. Yeah. Um, they do not do annual pass discounts. Mm -hmm. Good note. It was only seventeen dollars for a crepe. Yeah. We've had better in Paris and better at the Winter Garden Farmer's Market. Good thing to do on a Saturday if you're in town. Mm -hmm. But um, it was good. I'd come yeah. back and do the uh, quick service stuff. Yeah, see the quick service is right behind us here. There's a little bit of a line right now, but it's right during lunch. You can get all the same crepes just over there and you can walk away with them. So, yeah, all right, good. We're moving on. So we stopped at the Encanto Cucina and we're going to try these empanadas look really good so let's give it a try you guys can go ahead try it out and let me know okay. let's take a half all right what do you think it's pretty good the, yeah mm -hmm. Shloppy. yeah Shloppy. <laughs> Here's the filling. It kind of tastes like chili. Yeah? Yeah, it kind of tastes like, um, it actually kind of tastes like hamburger helper. Not hamburger helper, it tastes like um, sloppy joe. It smells like sloppy joe. It tastes exactly I can like smell. sloppy joe. Yeah, okay, well there you go. This is manwich in here. <laughs> A manwich empanada. Yep. Right? I 
like the perfect way to hang in the kitchen. Some fun art. Give your little band down there. So we liked that uh, Ratatouille picture so we much. Weren't, we weren't getting the big one. Not that the big like, one. That was like Human Portal walking into Beauty <laughs> the Beast ride at Magic Kingdom. Yeah. But they had a smaller one, a normal size human yes. size. So we got it. Yeah. And uh, we actually got to meet the uh, the artist. And, yeah, it's, good. it's called Bon Appetit. It's 24 out of 195. But he's a really nice guy, he and his wife. And he was talking about how he worked on backgrounds for Mulan and Brother Bear and Shrek and Tarzan and Puss in Boots and um, some of the other things. Some Star Wars and stuff. And he talked yeah. about how he makes it using coding and how long it takes to do coding. And really interesting. He's local. Yeah, very cool. So, um, very cool artist. What's his name? Yep. Is it his card? Yep. William Silvers. So you can go to William so, yeah. Silvers Art, Art dot dot net, net to check it out. So really nice guy. Yeah. Super great. Nice. All right. Moving on. Now we're going to head into the Odyssey and we're going to savor the flavor of imagination with the grape smoothie with freeze dried Skittles bite sized candies. Let's see how it is. <laughs> All right, so we have the popped art, the rainbow cake, and the great slushy. So let's give it a try. You can We're going to taste that? Yep. I'm going to eat the whole rainbow. Hey, you gotta taste the rainbow, right? <laughs> Waiting for sugar rush. It tastes like vanilla cake. Oh wow! With vanilla frosting, with lots of sugar on top. We'll try this blueberry thing. Okay. I like that better. That tastes yeah. like a tastes sugar like cookie she it with uh, blueberry it like in a it. Blueberry pop tart. Yeah, yeah. Look behind like, you. And then just FYI, over here, they have a ton of those figment popcorn buckets. So, okay, with our figment cup. Back. Oh, the back's cool. In the front. Nice. That's cool. What do you think? Great grapey. Grapey? Just like a great popsicle, just like thicker. Okay. All right, let's finish this up. Does anybody get the joke? Tell us in the comments. We're going for the chalk art. This is for this weekend, but this these chalk art pictures switch out constantly. So it's amazing this uh, great work of art is only short term. <laughs> After I go.
All right, I think we are finished. Yes. It's, it's been, done. this is one of the longest times we've been in a theme park in a while. Five hours. Yeah, just about five hours, which is uh, crazy, but it was such a nice day. I mean, the, the artists are really cool. It's so worth coming out. We're excited yeah. to come back and uh, see some artists. We got a couple things. Um, we got a painting um, that Chris showed you the picture of, I yep. think. Mm -hmm. um, our son got a painting, so we're going to come back uh, in a couple of weeks and have that artist autograph his. Yep. Um, so, tried some food. Mm -hmm. Some food you can get in a can of Publix for 99 cents. It tastes a little better. Yeah. Um, some is like rainbow cake, and it looks like a rainbow cake and tastes like a vanilla cake. It's a vanilla cake, but it looked look cool, but and the, it was fun. Pop-Tart was good. Yeah, Pop-Tart was good. I actually liked the, uh, the grape slushy. I thought that was kind of cool, uh, a little different. Yeah, I think if you want to uh, make the... Um, the pop tart thing at home. You can just go to like aisle three, and it's the wild berry Kellogg's pop tart in a box, mm -hmm. and you get like nine for the same price. We got one, probably, um, but it was still good. Yep, exactly. Uh, we're gonna come back. We want to try the uh, the coconut guava flan. Mm -hmm. There's a super long line in Mexico, and it was not moving. Yeah, I don't think they were up and ready to go we yet. We want to try the beef Wellington. Yep. Uh, there was like a duck thing and some scallops and the mussels and. Uh, that uh, tomato soup so you're gonna see plenty more videos yeah, of we'll some definitely food be back work, soon. Um, probably in the next uh, week or so yep um, so keep watching subscribe uh, you'll see this and we also have our uh, 5k video that's been yeah, finishing shortly. that up soon so that's good and all right well we'll see you all next time thanks for visiting more videos right yes looking forward to it all right see ya bye